Happy Vlogmas everyone! Hi everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 5! Five Vlogmases! Sorry, I love that song, I couldn't resist. Coming up today in my Vlogmas video, I'm going to be showing you a cheeky little Asda and Aldi grocery haul. But before then, we have to see what the elves have been getting up to and get the advents opened. So let's get to it. Let's go see what the naughty elves have been up to. Found them. You found them? Oh, that look on your face says that they've been up to to what on air are we doing? Shoo shoo, the Polar Express. Shoo shoo, let me see. Ha, shoo shoo, very cheeky. Is Jingle still doing this? I don't know, I think it must be. Mm. Look at them. Uh, and are you going to be putting all the shoo shoes back? Shoo shoo. <laughs> Let's go see if Jingles is okay. Good morning, Jingles. Oh, you can change his countdown. That's one day down, Jingles. 13 to go. Look, he's got his stripy pyjamas on and he's lying in his sleeping bag. Poor Jingles, I hope they're feeding him. 13 days to go, 13 days to freedom. Right. So let us know you're okay, just lie very still. Yep, he's okay. <laughs> the days are forth, so 21 days to go. 21 days till Santa. Yeah. Good morning, Santa. You're in a different position this morning. That's not for you. <laughs> it's not for Clyde. No, it's not. Look this is. Ooh, so does Clyde. Mm. And Willa. <laughs> Well, it doesn't miss a trick when it comes to food. Come on, Abby, it's a sweet treat kind of day. Smarties. Smarties. Get it in the tube. <laughs> Pink Smarties. Is that the right one? Oh. Oh. Elf. Oh, I love Buddy. What is it? Clyde. <laughs> He's good morning, Abby. <laughs> a snow globe. What does it say on it? Son of a nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to smile. Smiling's my favourite. Oh, Santa's coming. I know him. I know him. <laughs> Remember we went to Elf the Musical last year. That was fab. That was really good. Oh, that's like it. Oh, that is cute. You can put that on one of your wee shelves in your room. Yeah. Number four today. Is it a rubber? I'm not sure. Can't see from here. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah. A rubber. Has it got anything on it? Don't think so. You just ate it. Mhm. Mm okay. What was it? Simon killed me. What? Simon killed me. Simon killed me. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I take it that's in the series as well. I actually don't know. I'll make you think about. You that not one. know that one? I'll make you think about that one. Cool. What was the shape? Rudolph. Oh, you ate Rudolph. <laughs> it's got a bird on it. A very faint bird. So it has. Is that a Harry Potter thing? Looks like a raven. Alright, okay. Willa! <laughs> what are you doing? It's my bed. You're stretching out on Brooke's bed. Hello. Right, ready for school? Oh, okay, see. So. Right, it's time for my advent calendar now. Day four is up here. Let's see. Are we getting a snowman or a reindeer or a star today? Please, let it be one of them. Let's see what we've got. <gasps> it's a robin. Oh, I do love robins. It's wee Stormy. Oh, if you've not watched my videos before, I believe that Stormy, our old husky, is coming back to us in the reincarnation form of a robin because we've got a wee robin that comes and visits us all the time and he's not scared of the other dogs or anything so we're pretty sure that's him oh look at the horse behind the door can you see that the horse behind the window ah that's so cute brickle love that i've been forgetting to look oh look there's my star look 
Yesterday there was a star, it was behind the chocolate. And what was day two? Oh, look at the wee doggy that was behind the chocolate in day two. I keep forgetting to look at them. Brooke will love that horse. Right, what is the chocolate? Let's see. It's a reindeer! Yay! I knew I would get my reindeer at some point. <laughs> Yay, so exciting. Right, time to open day four of my advent swap, my crafty advent swap with Laura. We have got more gorgeous paper. Oh, more goodies. Let's empty this out and see what we've got. Of course, I need to start with the chocolate. More Kinder. Oh, I love a Kinder bar. And I spotted this as it came out. I think Laura must be psychic because Laura knows that I like animals anyway. But I've got a thing for cats just now. I'm missing having a cat around. And yes, look, a gorgeous cat. I thought it was black, but it's maybe actually navy. Yeah, I think it's navy. But I do like a black cat. Black and white. Oh, so cute. Anyway, isn't that gorgeous? That is so sweet. Oh, another love heart. Oh, it's America. That would have been perfect for Thanksgiving last week. All my American viewers, I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. Oh, some lovely little card toppers there. Nice flowery ones. We've got another chipboard frame. This is a very Christmassy one. Oh, I do like that one. The other one that I got, was it day one, reminded me of Friends. Um, the frame on the door that goes around the spy hole. And this is very Christmassy. This would be great. I say at some point, every video, this would be great on my Christmas card. <laughs> another little tag label. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that one. That's a gorgeous tag. I like wee cherries. Love the colours. And another one. That's very similar to that. Very nice. Oh, beer monster. What are you trying to say about me, Laura? <laughs> Mind you, you have met Jack, so fair enough. <laughs> I'm not a beer monster. I'm more of a cider monster or a gin monster. But yeah, we could give that to Jack. <laughs> oh, and look at that. That's a very unusual die cut. What is that, Laura? I'm not sure what that is. Is it a cone? I don't know what that is. What is that, Laura? Am I looking at it wrong? Please comment down below, Laura. Let me know what that is. And lastly, we've got a little yeah. sun. Oh, Rannoch, be quiet. Yay! So, lots more crafting goodies for me to be playing with. Thank you again oh. so much, Laura. I need to go and see to these daft dogs now, so I will catch up oh. with you later on. <laughs> shoo, shoo! <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Where did they come up with these ideas? I don't know. Um, unfortunately, Jack was too quick giving the puppies their advent calendar this morning, so I missed it. I wasn't able to film that for you, and I know a lot of you do like seeing it, but um, I, I gave him a row. I said, don't, don't give them that until I'm ready to film. But he does have to go to work, I suppose, so hey-ho. So yeah, now... I am going to show you my Aldi and Asda grocery haul from last weekend, I think. Yeah, last Sunday. So I hope you enjoy it. Right, so we will start off with Aldi. I have got the receipt, so I will put the prices of everything on the screen when I'm editing. So we got some oranges, which were in the, is it Super 6 or something that they do? And we also got some nectarines. Two bunches of bananas, because we go through a lot of bananas. A punnet of plums, some baby plum tomatoes, I believe they were also in the Super 6. I got the ready to eat melon medley, their dates weren't brilliant um, so I only got one of them. Garlic and cream cheese stuffed mushrooms. Jack picked himself up some coarse farmhouse mushroom patty, I love patty. <gasps> Now these we've had before and they're delicious. Haggis truffles, so, so nice. I don't like the peppercorn sauce with them, but Jack does, so, yeah, very, very tasty. We thought these were an interesting side, a bit different to normal potato croquettes. It's melt in the middle ham hoch croquettes and also melt in the middle cauliflower cheese croquettes. So they look really nice. I'm not sure if Abby will have them or not, but me and Jack certainly will. 
Now we usually get these from Asda but they're cheaper in Aldi and they're just as good so we got two packs of the crispy potato slices. These are lovely. We we'll have to make two packs now because even Brooke eats some and that is very unusual because she's so fussy. We got Jack's been having rice instead of soup for his lunches at work so he got a pack of the special quinoa pumpkin and sunflower seeds with whole grain basmati rice and a special Mexican style rice. They got two of each. Jack got these handmade caramel and pecan slices. Oh, they sound so good. I didn't realise we'd picked up two of these but how amazing do these look. Specially selected melt in the middle ginger and butterscotch bomb with a steep, sweet sticky butterscotch sauce centre. They look so good. I think they were like £2.19 each but the serves too and they've got a date until March next year so these will definitely get eaten. I bet Jack got some baked cheese thins. I think that's to go with his patty. I got some ibuprofen because I'm going through that like sweets right now. And I was needing Fabulosa and Aldi do it now, which was great. It was only 99 pence, I think, for that. So I got the wild rhubarb scent. So that was everything from Aldi. Right, as to now, the frozen things. Would you look at the size of this pig in the blanket? Oh my goodness. That is one huge pig in a blanket. That was five pounds, but it is 650 grams. So it's a Christmas classic turned into the ultimate centrepiece. I don't know if we're going to have it on Christmas Day or not. We'll probably have it before then, but it just looks amazing. I do like a pig in a blanket and that is huge. Brooke loved these last week, so I had to get them again. The four reindeer ice cream lollies, that was a pound for the four of them. And it's caramel chocolate and strawberry flavour ice cream in a reindeer shape. And Brooke's cheese and tomato pizza, that was all the frozen. Right, we didn't get much in the way of fruit and veg because we've got some stuff in Aldi and we've got stuff in the freezer. But Jack likes the Mediterranean style vegetables. That serves two and just goes in the oven. It's dead easy and it is a nice little uh, vegetable side. Even I quite like it. Um, quite often Abby will have the peppers and Jack will have the rest. So, yep, yeah, that's quite nice. I got a berry medley, which I love in yoghurt, as well as my pomegranate seeds. I love these in my porridge along with some banana. Sides now. Brooke and Abby like the Spanish smoked paprika shape shake fries by McCain, so we've got a pack of them. Also some sweet potato fries, which are delicious. Some root veg mash, seasoned mash root, root vegetables with potato, carrot, sweet parsnip, single cream and salted butter. These are delicious, the Asda 6 Yorkshire puddings. These are in the chilled bit beside the chickens. And oh, they're so good. Me and Abby had them last week. I used to get Abby the frozen ones, but these are so nice, so we got them again this week. The Wagyu beef, is that how you say it? Wagyu? I don't know. Beef dripping uh, King Edward roast potatoes. We got two packs of this because um, me, Abby, and Jack really enjoy them with the roast chicken. Just a bag of Scottish baby potatoes. That's everything for the fruit, vegetables, and sides. Going on to the dairy now. The gingerbread Muller light. Now I haven't had yogurt for ages. A because it was keto and B because I had gone off it. But the gingerbread Muller light is so nice. I actually got eight of these because as they're doing them 60 pence each or eight for three pound. So I got eight because they're best before the 30th of December. So I've got plenty of time to eat them. But then with some of the fruit is just so nice. Got two packs of cheese, um, just a sliced mild British cheddar. Jack got his two packs of rhubarb yoghurt, the Activia, he really enjoys that. Of course, my Kerrygold butter, I might not be keto, but I still love my Kerrygold butter, love it. Three of the two pints of semi-skimmed milk. I think I've said it before, once milk's open, we don't use it after a couple of days, so it's better for us to get three of the smaller ones rather than one big one. And I got some squishy cream for the gingerbread bombs that I showed you from Aldi. I think them warm with some squishy cream will be delicious. Plus them with some warm mince pies. Oh, so good. Right on to the main um, meal type things. Brooks Feaster's cheeseburger. She likes the microwave cheeseburger. Yes, I know it's plastic food, but she eats it. 
the loaded Cajun mini fillets, these are delicious. If you've not had them, it's chicken with like a Cajun butter and cheese and spring onion and stuff on them. Oh, they're so good. Now, these are in the three for £10, so I got two packs of them because me, Jack and Abby like them and one pack isn't enough for the three of us. And also in the three for £10, I got this, which is the Tika chicken breast steaks that is delicious as well and that is enough for the three of us because we, we pack that out with like rice and veg and stuff Brooke likes as does southern fried chicken goujons so I got them for her this kiln roasted uh, salmon fillet sweet chilli flavour is delicious we, me and Jack like that just cold with some beetroot, sweet corn and baby tomatoes oh really really nice the Asda cook in the bag garlic and herb chicken I love this because it's so easy to cook even I can do it and there's always plenty of it for us and the dogs love getting the leftover fat and any leftover bits of chicken the next day in their breakfast so it suits us all I got some bacon because when I was keto I kind of made myself sick of bacon and I've not had it for ages but I'm really in the mood for a roll on bacon now so yeah I've got this nice big pack of bacon. I think Abby's going to be tucking into that as well. These for the dogs, CWs, as I said before, they get frozen and given to them as a treat as long as they're not cooked. The bones won't splinter and it's safe for them to eat. And these cocktail sausages are also for the dogs as a treat as well. Right, cupboard items, and I've just realised there's something else from Aldi that I forgot to show you that isn't um, a food item. It's a Christmas item, so I'll show you that at the end of this. So, I got a pack of six rolls because, like I said, I'm really in the mood for a roll on bacon. Just some Scotch Big Eat rolls, which are now rather squashed because they were at the bottom of the bath. Um, a Kingsmill 50-50 loaf, that's for group pack lunches. The six reindeer shaped crumpets, so we had these last week and absolutely adored them, so we got them again this week. And a pack of six croissants, again these are for Brooks pack lunches, she alternates between a sandwich and a croissant. And the good thing about these croissants are they're all individually wrapped, so they're easy for her to take in her pack lunch box and they stay fresher as well. Brick had run out of peanut butter, so we just got the massive jar of the Asda Smooth Peanut Butter. That is a 700 gram jar. Yes, I believe it has got palm oil in it. Yes, it has got palm oil, which we try to avoid, but um, budgets and all that. The stuff without palm oil tends to be a lot more expensive. Right, some Ah Bisto Microwave Ready Gravy Pots. Yes, very lazy, but they're so good. So convenient and you, you're guaranteed not to get any lumps. So me and Abby usually just share one of those little pots between us when we're having our Yorkshire pudding. More of the rice. Um, Jack got some Aldi but he also got from Asda the Uncle Ben's limited edition Peri Peri rice. And the Uncle Ben's spicy Mexican rice. I got the Asda coconut micro rice. I love that. See with the um, tikka chicken that, we, that I showed you earlier. It is delicious with that. And I've got this to try, the Cajun Quinoa Micrograin. It's high in fibre and a source of protein and I thought that looked quite nice so I'm going to give that a go. This is what Jack has for his breakfast now because he goes out running in the morning. He has, he usually likes the Weetabix protein drinks but they, they're always out of stock in Asda. So he's went for the fuel protein drinks. So he got two chocolate, two strawberry and one vanilla because it's five for four pounds. And I found it again, yay! The Quaker Oats So Simple Limited Edition Winter Vanilla Spice Microwave Porridge. That stuff is amazing. It's so Christmassy and you get eight sachets for a pound, so even better. And yeah, it is lovely. Oh, the Gold Star Brown Sauce. That is a brown sauce that they use in the chip shops up here and it's amazing. I love it. To the sweet treats. What is an Asda haul without their Iceman's Pies? I've told you before, I love these. Absolutely love the Asda Iceman's Pies. These I have been looking for for weeks since I saw them on Tracy, the Mad Scott Slash channel. The Winter Gingerbread Cadbury Cake Bars. I am desperate to try them and they didn't have very many left I've been looking every week and I've never had them so I got two packs just in case they sell out I don't even know if I like them but I'm pretty sure that I will then for the girls I got them a pack of Freddos each I've got Abby our pack of four twirls Brooke got her chunky peanut butter Kit Kat and Brooke gets her time out wafer and mother pack lunch as well 
the girls love their knickknacks so I've got a multi-pack of the nice and spicy each for them and I got some cheesy watsits because I'm loving them right I'm going to put this away and get the juice out now so drinks I got flavoured water so I got two of the sparkling um, as the flavoured waters, one's blueberry and raspberry, one's apple and raspberry. I got one still strawberry and one still lemon and lime. They're all for Abby and they're all no added sugar. I got brook and apple and elderflower, no uh, sugar free Volvic flavoured water for her going to school. Um, I got brook a big bottle of cherry aid because she enjoys that. I got me, of course, three bottles. Molly, oh look, now it's Molly and Rana playing. Look. She will not let go. I've got three bottles of my Raspberry Pepsi Max because I just love that stuff. I'm addicted to it. And I got Abby a pack of eight cans of Zero Sugar Fanta. Right, now we are going on to the non-food items. I got greaseproof paper just for cooking the dinners. And the zipper all-purpose bags. These are much cheaper out of B&M, but I just didn't have the energy to go to B&M today. I think it was £2.50 for that. 12 medium zipper bags, but it's definitely easier for Brooks packed lunches for our sandwiches. I got this as a gift. How gorgeous is this? So it's a mug with a little knitted mug cosy on it and it's soothing hand cream inside it. Now that's part of the three for two gift section. Um, and I did get two other gifts that I can't show you. So I got that um, as the third one. So it's you buy three and you get the cheapest item free. So yeah, I thought that was lovely. I don't know what the hand cream will be like, but it's a nice big mug. Brooke was needing shampoo. I get her the three in one, the Pantene Pro V three in one. And it's a huge, huge bottle because Brooke takes forever in the shower and it's the quickest way to get her out. If she's using shampoo and conditioner, she's in there double the time. So just the one, it's much quicker for her. She was needing shower gel as well. Look at this Cosmic Unicorn Limited Edition Moon and Sparkles Unicorn Dust Shower Gel. It just looks so so cute and it was cheap. Jack needed shaving gel so he got the Gillette Mac 3 Extra Comfort. I needed deodorant so I got the Sanex Clean and Fresh Roll On and the Soul Kiss Me Body Spray. Their batteries, they were doing a good deal on the Energizer Max batteries. I think it was £6 each or two for £8. So I got a pack of double A's and a pack of triple A's because you can never have too many batteries at Christmas. Now, We've not got an awful lot of wine glasses for Christmas and my mum and dad will be here for dinner. So what we did, I had been wanting to get nice Christmas ones but they were all expensive. So we saw these and they are 50 pence each and it's just a plain wine glass. But if you're subscribed to my channel and you're going to be watching my vlogmas, you're going to discover a very cheap and easy way to make them really Christmassy for that special day. So look out for that during vlogmas and finally the thing that i forgot to show you from aldi wait until you see this look at him wait i'll zoom you out a bit look at him right are you ready later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling that's not the only song he does though for me been an awful good girl, send my baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. And look at Rana, who's that Rana? Here we go, laughing all the way, ha ha ha. What do you think Rana? He's like, what is that in my house? Isn't that so cute? So Jack is going to put that on the wall. Oh yeah, I just thought that was adorable. There was another one as well. It was a slightly different colour and the lights and the antlers were white rather than red. But this goes better with my decor. And he was singing Reindeer Head, 16.99. And I just think he's adorable. He is so, so cute. So I can't wait for Jack to get him on the wall. Right, so that is everything from my Aldi and Asda haul today. Yeah, that was our groceries for last weekend and I'll probably film another one on Sunday. Um, I'll try to get some unusual things or different things. I'll keep my greedy eyes open to see if there's anything new to show you. And now it is time for our crazy Christmas karaoke. Woo! 
Again, everybody's getting it right. I've not had one wrong answer yet, but I'm loving the fact that you're answering. I'm loving the fact that some people are incorporating the karaoke answer into their comments. And um, Jill, you know that you're doing brill at that. And I think there might even be some extra points going if you manage to do that. So yeah, give it a go. Yesterday was, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe So, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe that was the answer Today's karaoke is going to be from one of my favourite Christmas songs It's a very tricky one Unless it's one of your favourites, you might not know this answer However don't be googling. Don't be googling, I'll check. <laughs> However, um, it is a very well-known song. It's just not everybody sings to it as much as I do and knows all the words. So, are we ready? I need to do the whole verse because I just love it. They got cars big as bass, they've got rivers of gold. When the wind blows right through, there's no place for the old. When you first took my hand on the cold Christmas Eve, you promised me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So the song is, of course, Fairy Tale of New York, which I've heard BBC Radio won't be playing the original this year because they find some of the words too offensive now in this PC world, which I think is ridiculous. But anyway, it's a great song. They shouldn't be messing with it. Fill in the blank down below. When you first took my hand on the cold Christmas Eve, you promised me... Mm -mm 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 -mm. What are the missing words? Told you it was tricky today. So that's everything from Vlogmas Day 5. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out. Mm. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, don't start your barking again. He's done nothing but bark all day, that dog. Here's Molly to tell him off. Watch this. Molly, Molly, tell him quiet. No, not kisses. No, tell him quiet. No, that's cuddles. Quiet! Oh. That's it, you tell them. Quiet! Oh. Good girl! Oh, she's so clever. <laughs> she's such a wee cutie, aren't you? Did you a cutie? Give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. Oh, good girl. She's so good at cuddles. Leave some comments down below for me. You know, I'm loving reading them and I'm loving replying to them all. It's getting me so Christmassy. And don't forget your crazy Christmas karaoke line, if you know it. Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky. And I think that's everything. We'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Thanks very much. Oh, Rana had to come in, didn't he? He had to get in at some point. Oh, he's soaking wet. Ugh. I'm away off to dry that big beer. Right, I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6, everyone. Bye! Remember to be kind to each other. Santa's watching.